microphone muted. Hold on a second. Let me uh, try and fix the microphones here. So I think that is muted. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So what's going on, guys and gals? Welcome to my crazy live stream. Thank you all so much for coming out. I appreciate you guys a lot. So Sound Pete sent me a brand new set of headphones to uh, actually review on my audio channel. So I'm trying these out today. I've never actually really heard of Sound Pete's before, but man, these things sound pretty good. I think they're I think they're Bluetooth or wired. So. Yeah, Sound Pete's kind of cool, right? Don't know anything about that company, but so far so good. I probably won't wear these the whole time today, but uh, yeah, I'm just giving them a quick try out. The way I stream because I like lay back, it's a little bit it's a little bit hard to wear a full size set of headphones when you're laying back, but So I'll probably take these off in a minute. So we're just trying them out, but we're going to do some time drops today. What's up, Ed Sky? How you doing, buddy? A typical. What's up, Isaac? Hello, hello, Mech. So X Guy, I did a little bit of uh, inquiring, but I haven't really got any good answers yet. So I'll have to wait a little longer and see if we can figure anything out. XDCC, what's going on, buddy? Who were you before? I don't know who XDCC is, so... You, you, I see you're a channel member and it says you renamed yourself, but whoever you are, hello. <laughs> Edward, welcome to basic membership. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, guys. I appreciate everybody coming out. You guys are awesome. You really are. I appreciate it big time. All right, so Mech had a question on the Discord. When did you ask it today? I'll try and uh, I'll try and go check it out here in a little bit. Dark Matter, what's up, man? Brandon, hey hey. Ah, your frozen happiness. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll try to remember that. I probably won't because my memory sucks. But maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. I'll try. <laughs> That's the best I can promise. All right, so let's go get into some gameplay. So there is a brand new game mode out today, so we're going to try and time drop onto the brand new game mode for the first game. I think I think we'll switch. We'll do like one time drop, new game mode, one time drop, beacon rush, one time drop, new game mode. But yeah, I haven't actually tried this out. I'm saving it for the stream to try this game mode for the first time. So we're going to try the uh, where to go. I've lost it. Marksman, sweet. So no drones, no pilots, no titans, no ships, no squads, no nothing. So yeah. Let's try this. What is a rage fest, Dark Matter? I'm guessing that means it's not something you would enjoy. I don't know what a rage fest is, but uh, yeah, that sounds awful. That sounds really awful. We're going to try to time drop this. We'll see if it's good, bad, ugly, horrible. We'll find out. But I'm going to post a bunch of, a bunch of emojis in the YouTube chat. And when you see those, do a three to one countdown. If we hit battle this again, if we hit battle at the same time, we might, get, might, we might get into a game together. So let's try this out. Here come the emojis, guys and girls. We're trying the new marksman game mode. So let's go time drop. Three, two, one, battle. All right, so Dark Matter seems to think it's going to drive me insane. I don't know what it is, all right? I don't know what this particular game mode is, but... Uh, is it not working? <laughs> oh my god. All I've got is a blank screen. Is, is it broken? Hmm. Guys? 
Let's try that again. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to quit the game and come back. Well, yeah, dark mode for sure. Definitely dark mode. Alright, so as soon as I load back in, I'm gonna hit the emojis. We'll try another time drop if you want. So if the game's mo if it's broken, I guess we'll go play something else instead. Alright, let's try this again. No offers! Get out of my face! I'm trying to live stream here. Gosh! Gosh, offers! All right, here come the emojis. Let's give that another try. Here we go, here we go. Three, two, one, battle. And let's see if it works this time or if it's 100% broken. I hope it's not 100% broken because that would suck if it was. All right, battle begins. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Good, good. I thought it was broken again. Oh my god, stalkers! The new game mode is off to a very bad start. This does not... Well... Whatever. <laughs> this is basically just a skirmish is what this is. This is a skirmish. All right, hold on. Hold on, guys and gals. We'll see what we can do here. Oh, someone got them. They're all in stealth over there. I missed. This might not be such a bad game mode. I don't know. It might end up being kind of fun. Ah! <laughs> we killed each other, guys. Alright, so this is going to be a hide-and-seek peekaboo type of game, right? What's the range on these weapons? That's the question. Alright, he messed up by going into his ability already. Bam! No, I was in my ability! How did he get me? Do they have anti-stealth or what? I don't know how that just happened. Hmm. Weird. Very weird. Yeah, I'm wearing some new headphones by Soundpeats today. They actually sent them so I can review them on my audio channel. So far, they sound really good. I think they're... Oh! <laughs> they're actually... I think they said they were supposed to be gaming headphones. So far, I've just listened to music with them and now I'm kind of playing this with them but we don't have any game sound I'm gonna have to flip the switch to get the game sound to come on in just a minute here so actually I might as well do that right now it only takes a second so settings audio let's see that should probably fix it I hope ah turds Turds! Yeah, this is actually kind of boring. I, I don't know. Is it, is it like this? Is it the same hanger every time you drop or what? I don't know if the... I don't know if you guys are going to enjoy this if we're time dropping on this because... If this is what the new game mode is, we might just play regular games. Volker says $1.99 a month. What's up, man? What's $1.99 a month? 
I'm not sure what you're referring to, but that was pretty crappy. Dark Matter hates the game mode. What do you guys think so far? Is it a stupid game mode? Is it a cool game mode? What's up, Blob? Blob says, Can Dad? What is that, man? You guys are speaking some languages that I don't understand. Loki, he said that mode sucks. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to play that mode anymore because it was pretty crappy. All right, so nobody likes it from what I'm seeing. Does anybody like this mode? Because I don't think anybody's going to like this mode. Man. I don't know. Oh, membership. Yeah, I think memberships are start at $1.99 per month or something like that. All right. Yeah, I don't think we're going to play this anymore. It wasn't very good. So let's go. Let's go time drop into a beacon rush. Nobody cares for this game mode. I don't care for this game mode. It's probably not going to be fun. Hopefully some of the other new game modes are better, but we're going to go to beacon rush. We'll go to Beacon Rush. I'm going to post some emojis in the YouTube chat. So when you see all the crap sandwiches and the lightning bolts and stuff, that's when you want to do a 3 to 1 countdown. And if we hit battle at the same time, we might be able to get into a game together. So let's go ahead and try to time drop. Here come the emojis. Let's go do it to it. Remember, don't count with me because there is a delay on the stream. Count when you see the emojis. Three, two, one, battle. So I think we'll rotate we'll, we'll rotate game modes today. I think every day we'll every game will do a different mode today. Alright, so I'm gonna start off with the Pathfinder. These are my favorite weapons on here for some reason. The new weapons are awesome, but I like these for some reason. Morgan says I hope they're not all like that. TW says play free for all. We'll do some free for all here in a bit for sure. So I am going to support my teammates. So what I want to do is please don't tell me we have nothing but campers. Oh my God. Oh my God. We have campers everywhere. What? Get out of here. You're lagging. You're lagging. Let's hit him with the thing. Die, sir. Die. Get off of our beacon. Oh, my God. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get rid of this guy. We don't have anybody trying to get beacons. That That's one problem with playing a support robot is everybody else seems to drop in with support robots too. Um, that's not good for your team, actually. Am I idiot robot stuck? <laughs> All right, hold on. Hold on. I can't even hit that guy. Shoot at this one. I'm going to hit my healing module. Let's go over this way. All right, we hit him with the ability. We're going to we're going to hit ourselves with the mothership. Let's kill this guy really quick if we can. Oh, what the heck was that? It's like that must be the new weapon. I've never seen one shoot at me yet so far. Oh my god, it's a mender. Get out of here, little guy. Help, I'm being outnumbered. I shouldn't be having to play a support robot like this, guys. Dear team, get some beacons. Get to the beacon now. Alright, hold on. Uh-oh, we had an autocorrect. 
<laughs> Mac, I'm doing good today, bud. How about yourself? That's guy, I don't think I'm able to give out memberships, my man. I think somebody, you have to buy them or someone has to gift one, but I don't think I can just give them out. I don't think. I don't know, it, it's a YouTube thing, right? YouTube wants you, wants you to purchase them, so I don't think they allow you to give them away for free. So I think YouTube takes like, when, when somebody buys a membership, I think YouTube gets like 30% of the membership cost or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. 20 or 30% is what they take, so. It's great for us and they make some money off of it as well is kind of what those are about. What's up, Comet? How you doing today? All right. This guy is unbelievably hard to kill. Hold on, let me go up in the air. Oh, it's a Fenrir, no wonder. Ah, crap, it's a Titan. All right, so let me see if I can fly over to this beacon. That's not, that's not where I want it to land, is it? This isn't going so well so far. So far, this is not going well. I'm going to go ahead and land over here. I'm going to steal this beacon. See, we got that guy over there here. He's right next to this beacon, right? And he's just running around, not taking it. I don't get it. Like, if you're going to play a beacon game, please take the beacons. I mean, that's the whole point, right? Get the beacons. Look at the beacon bar. We're starting to make a comeback, but I don't think it's actually going to be a comeback when you look at the beacon bar. Oh, now we're losing them all. Ah! Ah! <laughs> all right. I'm in a weird mood today. Don't mind me. I'm in a weird mood. I'm in a very weird mood today. Die, darn it. Here, I'm on your head. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. The wallet finder. It is a support robot in my opinion. I, I would definitely call it support, but once you charge it up, you can actually fight with it a little bit more. But at, for, at first when you drop it in, it's pretty darn squishy. But if you can charge it, then it starts to become a little more durable, so. I think it starts as a support and then it turns into a however you want to play it robot later. That's kind of how I look at it. But you can actually give your, uh, it's only, I think it's only 120% damage boost, not 180. But you can give your teammates a bunch of boosts. You can give your teammates speed boost and damage boost and... Unfortunately, our team wasn't really too interested in grabbing a bunch of beacons on that one, so we lost. They were even down a player and we lost. That's really bad. <laughs> All right. We're going to go into a free-for-all for the next battle, guys. So the next battle will be a free-for-all. Maybe Wallet Finder should be called Nerf Finder. Oh, with Death Mark. Ah, Blob, you got a good point there. With the Death Mark, it's like 180. Yeah, yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah, you're right, because it does uh, it does make your robot squishy, so. That's, uh, that's a good thought, actually. That is a lot of extra damage. And then if you got the nuclear amplifier on top of that, right that's another what another 70 percent on top of that so that's well over 200 percent damage you can get that's crazy all right guys next game is a free for all arch says sorry for being late oh man it's, it's all good show up when you can man we're just happy to have you here it doesn't matter if it's at the start or an hour later or whatever you know 
better late than never. What's up, Grady White? All right, guys and girls. So if you want to time drop in with me, I'm going to post some emojis in the YouTube chat. When you see them, do a three to one countdown. And if we hit battle at the same time, we might get into a game together. This time, we're going to try and drop into a free for all. So let's go do it to it. Let's go do it to it. All right. So here comes the thingies. Three, two, one battle so grady white says how's the ultimate ions on the live server i don't think we have those yet grady i don't think they've given us any ultimate ion uh, as far as i know like uh the battle wreck account will be getting those but i don't think we have them yet i'll have to double check but i think that was one of the items they said they'll be sending out to us in a couple of days on the battle wreck accounts so i do have another account that I'm able to play that Pixonic owns, just in case you guys don't know. So I got my personal one, and I've also got the Battle Wreck account. So I'm gonna start off with this crazy thing with these new weapons and see how this works out. I'm I'm not so sure about these new weapons yet. They work really good on the Pathfinder, but the question is, how do they work on other robots when you don't have the big damage boost? All right, so that guy died pretty quick. Now, it's kind of weird, but sometimes it seems like these weapons will actually lob up over top of things, and other times they won't. Here comes this guy to get me. Um, somebody's shooting me over there. I wish they would stop. That's not very nice, sir. Let's try and blow up this Ochi Kochi. It's doing good damage to him. Look how fast he is. Holy crap, man. That dude was, uh... I'm moving really fast as well, but I did put two of those, uh... Immune amps on here to get extra speed, so... That should make me move really fast. What is that guy doing? He's... What is he doing? I think he's having problems over here. <laughs> I think his robot's stuck or something, right? What, is, what in the world? Is he trying to, like, escape the map or something? What are you doing, sir? Sir, what are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. Can you guys explain that? I have no idea. I really don't know. I'm very confused here. But, somebody's going to come up here and try and get my kill. I'm not going to allow that to happen. Nope, that's mine, sir. That's mine. You you don't... There we go. You, you, you die now. You die now! You try and steal my kill. Alright, so let me run over this way. Oh, is that what it is? If you're more than 400 meters, then they'll go over top of stuff. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was wondering why sometimes... I didn't see that in the description. I must have missed it, but... Ah-ha. Uh -huh. that, makes, that makes good sense of why they were playing differently sometimes than others. All right, so let me see what I can do to this Ochi Kochi, right? Let's see if we can beat him on up. Would you die already? Cool, we got him. Good, good. Um, I think I threw a Seeker drone on this so I can get anti-stealth because there's so many darn people in stealth. Seeker drone's really good for that. I mean, everybody's running stealth these days. Like, things are just constantly in and out, in and out, in and out of stealth. So I think Seeker drone's a really good thing to have. All right, let's, let's be... Oh, he's got a purple shield. I'm just going to kind of like fly underneath them. Oh, what the heck? I can't move all of a sudden. That backfired. No, it didn't. He's dead. You're done, sir. You're done. Bam. Godlike. These new weapons are actually pretty decent, guys. They're a little bit weird. They take some getting used to. I'm not really sure what's so weird about them, but they just have a really weird feel to them. I like them and I don't like them at the same time. Like, I don't think they're enjoyable to play, but they're actually good weapons. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't think they're fun to play, but they're really good. <laughs> it's a weird deal. I mean, I'm kind of a weird guy, so I mean, that makes sense, right? All right, Beyond Godlike, we're beating up everybody with this Amugi and the new weapons. Like, it doesn't really feel like they're doing huge amounts of damage to some robots, but they do huge amounts of damage to other robots. That's the part I don't get. It feels kind of like hit and miss as to how much damage you actually do to somebody with these. 
And that's what I can't quite figure out. Brady says, big squads are insta 30 second titans. Yeah, that's, uh, that is nasty. Yeah, they bring out those titans, they start pathfindering everybody, and yeah, we were playing last night, so if you guys don't know, Grady's in my clan, and we were testing out the Pathfinder in clan battles last night. And then we dropped against Exile, who dropped like a couple of these things. They got their Titans out, they, they charged up their Titans with the Pathfinder. I mean, their robots were running around the map at 90 miles per hour, and yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna make squad gameplay ridiculous when there's a whole bunch of these all over the place. I wasn't really sure, but now that we're actually, you know, got into a couple of games where we saw it in action, when there was more than one person running them, it's, uh, it's definitely going to be a game breaker, honestly. It's going to be a game, game breaker, because, I mean, if you put, like, an Ochi Kochi with electric weapons, I mean, you can seriously, you can seriously charge up in your Titan in less than 30 seconds if you, if you're in the right circumstance. So you can get those titans out in 30 seconds nowadays. So what they'll do is they'll charge them up, then they'll kill off the robot and bring out the titan. So yeah, a lot of those bigger clans, they are not scared to kill a robot to get a titan out as quickly as possible. And it works. I mean, it really does work. It, it kind of sucks. Arch, what do you mean I'm rolling, my man? You said, am I good because I'm rolling? I don't quite know what you're asking about there, but I'm doing good. Thank you, thank you. Would you, you stupid titan, gosh dang it, I hate getting stuck on stuff. <laughs> they don't call me Danny, get stuck on everything lightning for nothing. I will tell you that much. I definitely get stuck on everything, bam. All right, have a little bit of that. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. We broke his shield. Unfortunately, I'm currently out of ammo. I just want to come back here and shoot you in the face, sir. Let me go up in the air and shoot you in the face from above. You might enjoy that more. I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and hit my little button. I believe I get more damage when I do my little dash, and I get some extra durability. And my robot's stuck again. Hey, sir, stop that. Stop that! Here we go. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Let's hit ourselves with the mothership to get some more hit points. All right, this is a tough rook. I'm gonna go over this way because <laughs> miss me, sir. You know he was just trying to hit me there. All right, let me try and relo reload my weapons. I'm gonna go freak this guy out for a second. The main thing I'm focusing on right now is getting rid of that rook before somebody else oh somebody else took it but burgers that's all I gotta say about that one and of course my, what is that is that a Newton where's it at I'm out of here they're shooting me I gotta go <laughs> right, hold on I should really let those weapons recharge so when I go back and up in the air then I have full health or full uh, ammo but I'm too stupid to do that so Got him. We got the double kill. But yeah, it really has turned into a Titan game, so. Honestly, it's way more fun to play by yourself than it is to play in a squad these days. Because when you go up against those other squads that have full meta everything and they're running like six of the, the greatest thing in the world, that's hard to deal with, you know? They got 36 freaking monster robots. It's insane. Blob says the gravity amp Titan shotguns are dangerous. Gravity amplifiers in general are a pain in the buttocks. I call them gravity craplifiers. I used to hate those so much when they first came out. Oh man, I hated them. They would just wreck, stop. They would just wreck you all the time. It was awful. I don't mind them as much now, but they still suck. <laughs> they still suck. All right, let's go and do this. 
You're going to try and blind me, aren't you? Have a wonderful day. Thank you, drive through. It's like the guy. What was that? The guy on The Simpsons? Thank you, drive through. I can't remember. That was The Simpsons. Some show I used to watch. Somebody would say that. All right, so uh, I see somebody spamming. So if you don't stop spamming, you will be banned from the uh, channel. Normally I give people a warning, but that's that's excessive crap right there. <laughs> there's there's spamming, and then there's just intentionally doing that. You know what I mean? There's there's a difference there. So don't spam the chat if you want to stay. All right, let's try and get up in the air and womp on this guy. We got 14 kills. If any of you guys are in this game, I'm sorry. I'm killing everybody. I apologize. I mean, sorry, not sorry. Kind of like Risa says. Yeah, that's very disruptive to the chat. The viewers don't appreciate it. They don't appreciate it at all, and they will hate you. <laughs> you don't want the viewers to hate you, do they? What's up, Carl? How you doing today? All right, so Mech says, I think Aether deserves at least a little ability recharge improvement. All right, 11.9, 15 kills. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I like him. I like him a lot. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Fiesta boy, what's going on, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Still wearing a cap. WBU still wearing a cap. WBU. I don't know what WBU is. Alright, Mech says 18 seconds for Skyward and 20 seconds. Oh, I got what you're saying. It's kind of slow. Yeah, I hear you actually. But uh, that would be nice if they would buff up the Aether a little bit. Aether is still a cool robot. I ain't gonna lie, Aether is a very cool robot. But we're going to go try to time drop into a domination. So if anybody wants to try to time drop into a game with me, I'm going to post a whole bunch of emojis in the YouTube chat, right? I'm going to post all these emojis in the chat. When you see them, that's when you want to do a 3 to one countdown. And if we hit battle at the same time, we might get into a game together. Just don't count with me because there is going to be a delay on the stream. So count when you see the emojis. All right, so let's go do it to it. Here come the emojis. Three, two, one, battle. RFPO, what's going on? Yeah, it would be nice. It would be very nice if new robots and weapons were a little bit more balanced when they came out. That is for sure. I agree with you on that one. A lot of the stuff that comes out nowadays is so overpowered, it's redonkulous. So yeah, I think we all wish the new stuff would be a little more balanced. Oh, I see Loki. Loki's in the game with me. Alright, so right now I'm going to try and make sure my team gets a bunch of buffs. Did I hit that guy? No, I don't think I did. So as soon as he comes out of stealth, I'm going to try and hit that little guy. If I can target. There we go. Now we got him. Get him, teammates. All right, come on. Kill him. Kill him. So he's not locked down. I'm not really sure about this ability. For example, I hit him with that ability and he's supposed to be locked, but he's still moving around. He's not taking extra damage from what I can tell. I don't think it works sometimes. I think sometimes this ability doesn't actually work. Like that guy, I hit him with it, he did not get locked down. I think it might be bugged. I mean, sometimes it works great. Other times you're like, huh, I'm not so sure. So I hit that guy, I can see the yellow arrows that time, so he should be locked down and suppressed. And, well, not suppressed, but 
whatever it is. Alright, so I'm getting a couple of stacks, which is good. I notice I'm starting to move a lot faster. I should be getting some pretty big damage coming up. Here comes a Shin Lao, so I'm going to hit my uh, healing. I'm going to hit him with the ability. And it didn't work again, as far as I can tell. Either that or it got somebody else. Where'd he go? I guess he teleported back home, right? Hit that guy back there. Got a kill. Cool, cool. That should have... Oh, sir! <laughs> oh, my God. I got stuck on another robot for a second. Shin Lao's hit. Yes, he's dead. Look how fast this thing's moving. It's, it's getting crazy. But yeah, me and my teammates should all have a lot of extra speed and extra damage at this point. Oh! The damage is getting sick. I'm probably up to like the 120% damage right now. But this thing, once you charge it, it's completely nuts, right? Once you can charge it, it's 100% nuts. And then you're... Oh, let's try and uh, see what we can do to this Titan. I'm going to run out of there. There's two Titans. We need to get some beacons, but... Sir! Sir! Let's hit him with the thing. Oh, crap. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm running away. Don't kill me. 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 I'm not ready. I'm too young to die. Here. Let's hit him with the thing. Look how fast we're taking him down once I hit him with that thing, though, right? Did you guys see that? The amount of damage I'm doing plus that mark is... I mean, it even destroys Titans, right? It whomps on Titans once you're charged it all up. It's messed up. It's craziness. Super craziness. Alright, we got him on the mark. Ah, oh, crap. Here comes a big Titan. To steal our beacons. Hold on. We gotta mark this kid. No, 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 no. He's marked. Somebody kill him. Look at the damage. I can see they're damaging him really good, too. So corner shooting is something you guys don't see me do very often, but this is a trick that everybody really needs to learn. It's a very important uh, part of this game. Oh! <laughs> All right. Yeah, Avalon, even if you don't level up your Avalon, it's still excellent. You don't even have to level it. I mean, it helps. But not leveled, it's amazing. Axel, how's it going? What, what setup am I using on what, my friend? I'm not sure what you're asking about there exactly. All right, 6 million damage, 4 kills. No, 4 assists, 5 kills, 1 beacon. So the problem with that is that that robot is not a good beacon grabber, but. All right, so now we're going to move over to Beacon Rush. So if you guys want to try to time drop into a game with me, set your game modes to Beacon Rush. I'm going to post some emojis in the YouTube chat. And when you see them do a three to one countdown, and if we hit battle at the same time, we just might get into a game together. So. Here come the emojis! Three, two, one, battle! Alright, so Arch, Arch, you're talking about the Everest pilot. I don't remember what that pilot does, but his name is Everest. The threes are like backwards E's, but yeah, Everest, Everest, Everest. What does that pilot do? I know I like that pilot, but I can't remember what its ability is, unfortunately. But yeah, Grady's white guy. Grady's right. I said Grady's white. <laughs> Grady's right. 
You don't, yeah, that, that mothership beats pretty much every other mothership, even if you don't really level it, so. It's just all around really darn good. Alright, we marked the Shen Lao or whatever that is. And it didn't seem to get them for some reason. I don't understand why it doesn't work sometimes. And they're going to kick my ass right away, aren't they? Dude, get off me, a little turd bucket. Yeah! That's him right there, I think. That guy. Alright, I'm going to mark that guy. Somebody kill him, please. Nope, nope. What is that? They're after me. Kill! Alright. If I haven't said hello to anybody, I'm sorry. What's good with extermination mode? So the curry is really good for extermination. I think angler is really good. Seraph is really good. Those seem to be like the, the best ones in my opinion. So, oh, uh, Angler, Seraph, and Curry because they can all hit multiple robots. At the, well, the, the Curry can't really hit multiples at the same time, but it drops that turret. Mars is also pretty good. My team is not doing well on this game. All right, let's go get some beacons. We're gonna use this for a beacon running. If we don't get some beacons, it's gonna go really bad for our team because we need them beacons and we need them now. Gosh, dang it. All right, this is bad, this is bad. Here comes my Ochi Kochi. Where's the bad guys at? Ah! All right, my Titan's not charged. Our team is getting stomped! This is like a big butt burger and a half right here. Giant butt burgers! Yeah! Is my Titan ready? I hope so. Alright, let's see what I can do with this. Probably nothing, but I'm going to do my best over here. All right, we got rid of one really fast. Let's get rid of two really fast. That guy's a little too far away. What is that now? Come on, where did you even... Oh, bullshit. Excuse the language, but... How did he even get back there? Sometimes this game makes you furious. Ugh. Yeah, giant butt burgers, man. These guys are just stomping us into little teeny pieces. We don't even stand a chance. Like, we have no... We have no chance of winning here. It's terrible. I just mainly try not to curse because I know sometimes, you know, kids show up. I try to keep it family friendly. Alright, so, you know, that sucked. That sucked, man. Alright. Yeah, that wasn't even a full squad. I don't know... If, uh, I don't know what happened there, but that was really bad. <laughs> that was really, really, really bad, right? That was a terrible game. Edward, have a great day, man. He says he gotta go, so... Oh, no, he says, gotta say goodbye to my Peladin. Gotcha, gotcha. Peladin's still a nice ship, though. There's nothing wrong with a Peladin.
Yeah, Mech, I think you're I think you're right. The never the Everest is for the nether robot. But yeah, if you look at the pilot skill, it'll tell you what robot it's actually for. But Mech, yeah, I do believe you're correct. It gives you the, oh, is that the one that gives you shield breaker when you dash? That's actually a pretty good skill, to tell you the truth. Rogfurt, what's up, man? How you doing? All right, so RFPO says, see many hackers who start to lose and they turn on the hacks. Yeah, that does happen, unfortunately. That does happen sometimes. All right, so let's go try to drop another game. Let's go back to a free-for-all for the next one. So I think we're going to switch to a different game mode for every game today. So this time we're going to free for all. I'm going to post some emojis in the YouTube chat. When you see them, do a three to one countdown. And if we hit go at the same time or battle at the same time, we might just get into a game together. So let's go do it to it. Here come the emojis. Here come the emojis. Three, two, one battle dark matter says free for all sucks no way dude it's the best all right so arch yeah it's not easy to win giveaways arch it's very very hard to give win giveaways there's like thousands of people entering, you know, and like 200 prizes to give out or something like that. So you got to be super, super lucky to actually win a giveaway. But, you know, somebody wins. So I say enter in every giveaway you can because somebody's going to win. And if you enter, it definitely could be you. All right. Somebody's chasing me down. Let's go into stealth mode. Let's kill this guy. He's trying to be mean to me. Reload before someone else takes it. Am I hitting him? What's happening? How are those not hitting him? That's bullcrap. Those weapons did not hit that guy. They did not register any damage. Maybe there's a problem with them because I notice sometimes... They don't do damage, sometimes they do. Right there, you could tell it was hitting them, but it wasn't registering any damage. I don't know what that was about. That's weird. Maybe you guys noticed something I didn't, but... When they do hit people, they hit really hard. That's weird. Dark said I'm a huge Half-Life 2 fanboy. I don't think I've ever played Half-Life. Never played that one, actually. Alright, hold on. See, right there, I'm not sure I'm hitting that guy either. Some of the shots landed, and some of them I don't think they did. Weird. I can't quite, quite figure out what's going on with these weapons, but there's definitely something weird with them. I really like them, and I really don't like them at the same time. That probably doesn't make sense, but... You're marked, sir. Look what happens when I mark them, man. Dang it! Alright, let's bring out the Titan. <laughs> Most free-for-all games, I kick some butt. Sometimes I get my butt kicked, so... You know, you win some, you lose some. It's been a rough day out here so far on the games. I just keep getting on teams that aren't doing well, so... At least with free-for-all, you know, you don't have to rely on your team doing well. It's all about whether you do well or not. So if you notice you're having a bad day where you can't just get a good team, sometimes it's nice just to come into a free-for-all and then, 
You don't have to worry about what your team is doing. You just have to worry about some jerk stealing your kills. <laughs> It's just like that. Some jerk just stole a kill and it was me. <laughs> but you know, they're going to steal mine if they get the chance, so I'm going to steal theirs right back. Hold on a second. There's somebody back there trying to give me a hard time. There's a Titan there. I want you to come out of stealth, sir. There we go. That was a bad move. Can we kill him? Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I'm going to hit myself with the mothership, so I should be up to 971,000 hit points. There's a really quick... Oh, no, nope. He went into stealth. There's another Titan. That's a bedwear, I think. Come on, come on, come on. That's mine. Don't you dare. Don't you dare take my stuff. Here he comes. And we gotta get him! Alright, his, his repair amplifier is just kicked in, so... At this point, he's gonna be a little bit hard to take out. Repair amplifiers, you're a pain in my buttocks! Here, let's just shoot this guy for a minute. Ah! I've been tainted or something. He hit me with the taunt. There's two people. All right, this is definitely two people chasing me down right here. Do you guys see this? They're both focusing on me. you get your Titan out of my face, please? How is he in stealth again? These people are hunting me down, guys. Hold on. What is that? Is that a Ming? I gotta take care of him first because he's easy to kill. This is a little bit harder to deal with here. Please just die, would you? I'm getting bored fighting you, sir. The good news is games like this where you have the uh, the crazy titan fights give you huge amounts of damage, right? Big damage. Sir, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. I'll worry about him in a minute. It's getting close to dead. It's almost dead o'clock for you, sir. All right. Yeah, rooks can be very, very strong. My rook can get like that too once you charge him up. Like, Rook's a little bit hit and miss. Like, sometimes it dies before you can charge it, but once you get it charged, it's a beast.
It's a super beast once you get it charged. Bam! That stealth gets on my nerves. Where is that little guy? Get your robot out of here. Ah! Why are they all shooting at me? Did you guys notice this? They are teaming up on me. I'm going to report all these players for being mean <laughs> when the battle ends. They don't have a... This, this was a mean player button, do they? <laughs> we need that. Bam! I mean, I am a Titan, so I get why people are teaming up on me, but... When there's two Titans teaming up, teaming up on you, that part sucks. I don't mind if I'm a Titan and three or four robots come after me. I get it, you know? I don't blame them. I'm a Titan. They want to they wanna take out the Titan, right? How is that ball so strong? Alright, 16 kills. Our FPO says destroy the Titan. It's not fair. Titans are crazy these days, guys. Titans are completely crazy. Alright, I was expecting more than 15 million damage from that, but I will take it. 15 is pretty good. Now, if I would add flamethrowers, I probably would have got way more than 15. You know what? Let's try something crazy. Let's try and install a couple of flamethrowers on this. I don't know if that's going to be good or bad, but... Oh, wait. They're on my other robot. I'm too lazy to take them off. Never mind. Never mind, I'm too lazy to take stuff off. Let's just go play. <laughs> All right, so let's go to a team death match. If you guys want to try to drop into a game with me, I'm going to post some emojis in the chat. And when you see those, do a three to one countdown. And then if we hit battle at the same time, we might get into a game together. So it is time drop time, guys and girls. Time drops, time drops, time drops. Remember, do not count with me because there is a delay on the stream. Count when you see the emojis in the YouTube chat thing. All right, here come the emojis. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, two, one, battle. All right, so Saint says, what weapons charge the Titan meter the fastest? So the electric weapons like the Feng Bows, those charge it super, super fast. Like this setup, let, let's see if we can get our Titan charge really quickly with this. So if I run into a group of enemies and I just start shooting them, I should be able to charge my Titan in about 20 or 30 seconds. But I have to be able to shoot like two to three people at once. But watch how fast even this will charge up my mothership, right? Or my Titan. So my Titan's almost halfway charged from that. And that was just one guy. This guy should probably charge it up the rest of the way, right? Let's just go ahead and... Uh... Alright, we killed him. My Titan is about 70% charged. When he comes out of this thing, there's a couple of guys here. So, all right, they killed me before I could get it out there, but that's pretty much the fastest way to charge stuff. We got Kron in the house. I think I think weapons like weapons like machine guns that spray a whole bunch of bullets all over the place. Those also seem to do a pretty good job at charging stuff up. Like, uh, I think pulsars, punchers, 
Magnetars, they seem to do a pretty good job as well. Flamethrowers seem to do a pretty good job at charging stuff up. Gosh dang it, man. Stop that crap! Where'd it go? I can't move! He's too far away. Let's hit ourselves with the mothership. Those little Shinlao robots get on my nerves. Oh no! He's come on, re yes, somebody got him. Good, good, good. I thought he was gonna escape, but we got him. So yeah, my Titan appears to be charged right now. It looks like the bar is full, so I should be able to drop my Titan as soon as this guy dies. I mean. A lot of guys would kill the robot off and just drop it the second they can. But personally, we're we're ahead, we're winning. I don't feel like I need to drop it yet. But it is good to try and get your Titans out before the other team drops theirs. And then you can start charging up your repair amplifiers by regular robots shooting you instead of Titan weapons, so. Is the Tamer still a good weapon? It's decent. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they're, uh, they're nowhere near as good as they were, but I think they're okay. I was playing those the other day, and I thought they did quite well. So I would say yes, I think on the right robot, they do very well. Alright, let's bring out the Titan now. Brandon says, me too. Me too, me too. All right, hold on. But not everything's bad after it gets nerfed, right? A lot of people have stopped playing them because there are better weapons in the game now, right? There are better things you can play, but that doesn't necessarily mean something's bad. I mean, it still performs well. The electric weapons will kick your butt. A lot of people are trying to move the electric weapons just because they're superior in damage, but... Edward says, multiple Shin Laos. Crap Laos. <laughs> Turd Lao. But I'm telling you what, I still think Eiffel is the best. Eiffel with the Bendy Bullets is still probably the best Titan in the game. Or if you can get flamethrowers on the Eiffel, it's it's pretty amazing. How long is that dude's shield? What is he even in? Hold on a second. What is that? Oh, it's a bedware. Never mind. Sometimes that long shield throws me off on the bedware. I forget that I, I forget that the bedware exists sometimes. Alright. Up in the air we go! Bam! Alright, hold on, hold on! Let's do it to it! Up in the air, up in the air! Well, you gotta get these guys. Die already, sir, with your big crappy purple shield. <laughs> So there's three people left on the enemy team. All right, um, I underestimated his flamethrowers a little bit. They're hitting me much harder than I was expecting. And he's not taking any damage.
I'll let those two fight it out. I think Dark can handle that. I'll let you get all that damage, my friend. Dark's, Dark might end up with a lot of damage from that, so I'm not going to steal his damage. Let's go fight this Luchador instead. Yep, he got him. He got him. Alright, let's hit the Luchi Boochi. The Snoochie Boochies. I don't know if you guys ever watched Jay and Silent Bob, but Snoochie Boochies. <laughs> that was such a weird boofy. I actually watched, uh, what was it? Jay and Silent Bob. I had that on a couple of days ago. That was on TV. Generally, when I have a movie on, I'm busy doing other stuff in the background, so I only kind of halfway pay attention to it, but... It was pretty, uh, it's a funny movie, pretty, pretty fell language and stuff, but still funny movie. Pretty ridiculous. The guy who played L Luke Skywalker in Star Wars was the, I think he was the evil villain in that movie. That was ridiculous. Completely redonkulous. Uh, he said he can get the Snoogans beanies. <laughs> nice, Saint. Snoogans. <laughs> Alright, good game to both teams. So Dark, 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 Dark came in second. Booty can... Booty contorter. <laughs> oh my god. What, what is a booty contorter? Can somebody can somebody explain to me what that is? Some people the names some of these people come up with, guys. Saint, you're very close, but that wasn't quite it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but it was very close to what you just said. <laughs> All right. I also thought it said booty controller too, but booty contorter. Eh. All right. I don't know what that is. All right. So let's move this game over to a beacon rush. So if you guys would like to try and drop into a game with me. I'm going to post some emojis in the YouTube chat. When you see them, do a 3 to one go countdown. And if we hit battle at the same time, we might get into a game together. But don't count till you see the emojis in the YouTube chat. All right, here come the emojis. Let's go do it. Let's go do it to it. Three, two, one, battle! Dark says, good game. Yeah, that was a good game, man. All right. No, you can actually deport, you can still report hackers. You just have to go into their full profile. Like the, the first, the first report button is disabled, but if you click on, like, where it'll say, like, Android or PC or whatever when you're looking at their thing, click on that and it takes you into their full profile and then you can report them from there. So it's a lot harder to uh, get to the report button now, but it, there's, it's still possible. Dang it, you little turd, I'm trying... God, crap! Here. Where'd that go? Alright. Let me hit my healing. Land, sir. Land. Come on down. The price is right. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. I wanted to I wanted to kill you and not shoot you across the map. No! Alright. That did not go as planned. All right, I don't know what I don't know what's happening here. This is getting weird. This is definitely getting weird. 
This is a weird game. There's people doing weird things all over the place. I'm doing weird things. They're doing weird things. There's a lot of weird things. Yeah, the new game mode sucks, guys. That's why we're not playing it. Just just in case anybody wonders why we we haven't do the game mode is nobody seems to like it. So I didn't like it. It's basically just a, a little skirmish is all that really is today. So maybe tomorrow's game mode will be better. I don't know. I hope so. I definitely hope so. But I don't think anybody's really going... I mean, a few people might enjoy that game mode, but... I don't think it's really going to be a big hit. You know what I'm saying? I don't think a lot of people are going to be like, Hey, we love this! You know, there may be a few, but... I'm wondering where's the new map. I want to play the new map. I haven't seen it yet. Has anybody seen the new map yet? I'm guessing they haven't uh, made it go live for some reason, but I'm getting anxious. I really want to play it. New map actually looks awesome. How's he alive still? Sure, just die already. Stop living and die. I know, I know that sounds like a terrible thing to say, but you know. Dark says bedware needs a nerf. You think so? I think it could use a uh, longer cooldown on the shield. That's for sure. All right, so Workfurt says, I hope the OG Warbots game mode will be a permanent one. It'll be interesting to see how this works out. I think that's the one everybody's looking forward to is playing the OG mode, right? Max says, I managed to survive your rifle. Were you the guy I was yelling at? <laughs> good, uh, good games, guys. Brandon says, the Titan Flamethrower weapons need to nerf. I agree, those are a little bit on the powerful side. Those are a little bit scary. Alright, so now we're going to move over to a domination mode. So if you want to try to try time drop in with the game, whatever I just said, if you want to try to time drop into a game with me, set your game mode over to domination, right? Set your game mode to domination. And I'm going to post some emojis into the YouTube chat. And when you see those, do a 3 to one countdown. And if we happen to hit battle at the same time, we just might get into a game together. So let's go do it to it. Here come the emojis. Here comes the domination. Three, two, one battle mech says i was the phoenix aether crap i didn't even see you i didn't even see it i don't even know what i'm shooting at half the time i'm just shooting at things and it hits whatever it hits you know <laughs> yeah bedware shield uh it does last a long time and it pops up very often so as we all know, though, anytime something new comes out, it's definitely going to be very overpowered for a while. That's just the normal with this game, is making things overpowered, right? I've got used to it. I mean, I wish they would do it differently, but I have gotten used to that over the years, so... Come on, come on, someone kill him, someone kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! I hope the FBI is not listening. I hope they don't have my house bugged or... <laughs> I'm gonna be in some trouble if they do. 
over here yelling, kill him, kill him, right? All right, hold on, hold on. Don't push me, man. I'm trying to get out of here. Unfortunately, the ability wore off before we could kill him, so nobody got the, the stack from this robot. Yes. I'm definitely getting a couple of stacks on here. Rampage. Hit that guy. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. He's got the yellow arrows. Who did I get? I got him. That's a tough dude right there, man. That curry would not go down. Dark says, I keep getting crappy matches. Yeah, I'll pick you up for a duo, Dark. That'll work. For the low cost of only three million three hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, plus twelve thousand dollars shipping and handling. You can play a game with me. Does that sound fair? Yeah, dark usually you're pretty good at time drops, so. Sometimes, you know, you have days where it doesn't want you to time drop. Sometimes it works good. So it's kind of hit and miss with stuff like that. My question is... If I do this, can somebody steal my beacon? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure this will allow me to keep this beacon. Alright, that guy is almost dead. Let's go back up in the air. What the heck just happened? <laughs> that ball just went for a ride. Alright, he's gonna try and steal our beacons, so... I'm gonna scuttle on over there. Scuttle, 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 scuttle. Get off of my beacon. That's my beacon. I need some help, team. Teammates! No. All right. I'm getting my revenge right about now. That ball is freaking tough. Good game, good game. Max says I want I I was the Phoenix. Oh, I already read that. All right, good game to both teams. Good game, good game, both teams. All right. Nice dicey. Yeah, I'll pick up Mech, or I mean, uh, it was Dark who asked me to squad, so I'll pick up Dark. And then we'll run some duos, and then you guys can try to time drop me and Dark. Max says, I got to play one more before I got to go. All right, man. All right, all right. Max got to go in a minute, but... Let's go ahead and do a... Bacon Rush. Let's go to a Bacon Rush for the next game. I'm about to post the emojis in the YouTube chat. When you see them, do a 3-2-1-go countdown. And if we get into a battle together, or if we hit battle at the same time, we might drop into a battle together. So... Here come the emojis, guys and gals. Let's go do it to it. Let's go do it to it.
three, two, one, battle. All right. Okay. <laughs> I got the yawns. I've always got the yawns. I gotta figure out. I think tomorrow I might actually... I might work on doing a leech for tomorrow's video. I've been thinking about doing a leech video for a while. Kill the ball, I got him marked. Kill the ball, kill the ball, I got him marked. Die, sir, die. Oh, he's he's a tough one. I'm gonna mark that ball. And it didn't it worked. Okay. There's there's two balls trying to come to the back here, so we need to take them out. Alright, that one's dead. What is shooting me from over there? Stop that. Let's mark that ball. It'll this will lock him down. And make him squishy. So get him, my friend. Get him. All right. You're done for. So what we need to do is try and get that, get to that center beacon. I can't hit that guy because he's lagging. I'm gonna mark that guy. Somebody kill him so we can get the assist or whatever. So unfortunately the shield breaker only lasts for a couple of seconds here. Later man! No, 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 no! Back off, back off, back off! Ah, there's too many of them shooting at me. Alright, dear team, we need some beacons. I guess the shield breaker didn't work. All right, hold on, hold on. Dang it, I hit the wrong guy with the mark. Oh well. I don't even know who it got, honestly. It's too far away. What are you doing, sir? Let's hit that one. Ouch! And my Titan is almost charged. Alright, hold on a second. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to ban somebody from the channel. Give me a second. Once I get into a better spot, I'm going to ban them because they are intentionally spamming, calling themselves the spam lord. I mean, come on. Come on. Why? I mean, the only reason you would do something like that is because you want to get banned, right? I mean, you know that if you do something like that, you're going to get banned, so... Why do it unless that's what you want, right? Yeah, don't don't come into somebody's stream and be disruptive to the chat and make all the viewers unhappy and annoy everybody. You know what I mean? That's not cool. Ron says, too, bull too bad cool burn isn't around. Alright, here comes a Titan. I don't understand why people do that kind of stuff. It doesn't really make sense. I mean, you have to know what's going to happen, right? 
does not make sense. So that means like if there's giveaways on this channel, they can't enter into giveaways or anything anymore. Okay, so they can't leave comments or... Well, I don't know. Maybe if there's a Google Sheet, they can still enter into giveaways, but... Trying should I also report them to YouTube? Yeah, you know, I guess that makes sense. You know, report the spammers to YouTube and ban them from the channel. Not a bad idea, actually. Alright. Oh, I fell off the ledge. <laughs> Cell Dweller, where do I know that name from? I know that player from somewhere. It sounds very familiar. Alright, we need to get the speed, so let's drop the turrets. Let's drop the turrets down. Alright, come on! Dead! Dead! <laughs> My evil villain laugh, right? I don't know if that's a good evil villain laugh or a bad evil villain laugh, but that's my evil villain laugh. It's probably not very good. But I try, you know, I try. Can I help you get the new robot? No, unfortunately, no. There's no way to get that unless you spend money or wait till, uh, check around the YouTube channels, right? Find one of the YouTubers that has a giveaway for that. So the game arranges all the giveaways. As far as I know, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get a giveaway for that or not, but I'm not really counting on it. So it's a possibility, but. I'm sure somebody is probably going to have a giveaway for the new robot. I'm not really sure which YouTuber. But that's the best thing you can do, really, unfortunately. Yeah, keep your eye out because somebody is probably going to be giving it away. Alright, good game guys, good game, good guy, good game, good guys, I don't know what that meant, but sure. Alright, good game, good game, that was fun. Alright, so next game we're going to go over to a team deathmatch, so if you guys, Mech, have a great day buddy, thank you for stopping by, and we will catch you next time. It was awesome to see you as always. Alright, so I'm going to post some emojis in the YouTube chat. And if you guys want to try and drop into a game with us, when you see the emojis in the chat, do a 3 to 1 countdown. And if we hit battle at the same time, we might just get into a game together. So, here come the emojis. We are doing a team deathmatch. So, let's go do it to it. Let's go do it to it. Three, two, one, battle. I think I'm behind on the stream. Let me see if I'm on the newest part. All right. I might have more delay than normal on the stream today. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I might actually, there might be more delay than normal. I hate when that happens. 
Where did these people... I didn't even... What? I'm surrounded instantly. Get out of here, turd burger. Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Don't kill my robot. It's too young to die. My god, they're freaking everywhere. Jeez. Teleporting robots everywhere. I was not expecting that. <laughs> That was brutal, man. There was like six robots teleporting at me. Dudes. Shinlos are little beasts, actually. Some people can't figure out how to play these things, but if you play them right, man, they will tear somebody up. They're not a, they're no joke, honestly. The key to though being attacked by those is run backwards. If you run backwards, it'll probably teleport teleport in front of you. Jamel, I don't know. I haven't actually looked to see what the uh I would imagine so, but I'm not a hundred percent sure if they've changed those or not. I don't see why they would have, but As far as I know, that it should be working the same as it always was, but I'm not really sure. I don't really play too much of the ultimate stuff. Most of it's pretty good, but... I didn't see them say anything about nerfing it. I mean, they could have, but I just haven't heard anything about it. I'll tell you what, I'm really liking these Sound Pete's headphones, guys. Sound Pete sent me these headphones to review on my uh, audio and tech channel on YouTube, and uh, I'm trying them out for the first time today. They're pretty nice. Sometime next week, I should have a review for these headphones up on my audio tech channel. I think they were, I think they said they were a gaming headphone, so I don't know if that means they have like the surround sound and stuff, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to check them out, like they showed up on my doorstep right before the stream started, so I pulled them out of the box, I threw them on, and I'm like, I'm gonna check these out real quick. So far, so far so good. Like I listened to... I think I listened to like two songs before the stream started and it sounded good. I listened to a, a song from DJ Bass Boy and a song from Social Distortion. They had killer bass, like the bass was really, really good, but it's not overpowering. Like when you're listening to regular music, the bass isn't overpowering, which is really good. That's one cool thing about having a, a review channel is, you know, once it starts to catch on, people will actually send you stuff a somewhat often to review, which is really nice. I enjoy reviewing stuff. I don't know why, but it's, it's fun for me to review things. But I'm starting to get such a large collection of microphones. I'm going to have to put some up on eBay and start selling them because, my God... I got a whole dresser drawer just packed full of microphones. It's crazy. There's definitely some of them I really like, so I'm going to keep them for other you know, microphone reviews, but... I wouldn't be surprised if I have, like, over 30 microphones now. I mean, some of them were... Some of them I bought for the YouTube channel. Some of them were for... Back when I used to play in bands a lot, I had some... Some microphones I've probably had for, like, 20 years. And then I get companies sending me stuff all the time now, so... It's pretty awesome.
so all right Jamel I get what you're saying there I don't really know I we might have to do, do a test on those that's a good thought because those things used to shred Titans pretty fast maybe if, if I can maybe, maybe like uh, maybe for the last game I'll switch over the last game or two Maybe I'll switch over to the Batarick account for the last couple of games and throw those weapons on something and see if they eat up Titans or not. We only got about 20 minutes left, so... After this game... After this game, we'll switch over to the account. We'll try those weapons out and see if they shred Titans or not. That's got me very interested. So what I'll do is I'll wait till people start dropping their Titans. Dark, I'll try and pick you up on the Batarek account because they told me it was okay to duo on that account if I was live streaming. I'm still not sure if I can really squad on. I think I can squad on. I don't know. If it's for a live stream, I think it's okay. All right, not bad, not bad. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go change accounts really quick. Good game, good game. Let me get your uh, player ID really quick. Oh, if you want to see how to report somebody, right? You go to iOS or whatever, click that. Then there's usually a little button up here that says... I guess it's not on here because he's on my friends list, but... You can report people. Let me go to... Battle History. Let's pull up somebody that's not on my friends list. PC. Wait, that report button's not here anymore either. Maybe it's because, I don't know. We'll look at it later. I'm not sure. Alright. Let me switch accounts, guys. Hmm. Oh, I copied your clan ID? Well, crap sandwiches. I done went and messed up, I guess. I'm going to invite your clan to a battle then. <laughs> oh, dang it. What am I doing? Hold on. I'm having a problem here. I messed. What am I doing? Hold on, guys. I'm having technical difficulties. I'm having technical difficulties. Continue as this account. Yes. There we go. Technical difficulties, guys. All right, please log into the game. Thank you. Come on, log me in. All right, there we go. So we're going to throw the ultimate machine guns on stuff and see if we can get them to eat up Titans. You know, if, if those actually eat up Titans, that will be a great weapon. Unfortunately, I don't have any on my account, but... That would be a good thing to make a video about. Alright, let's throw those on here. We'll throw two of those bad boys up on here. It's actually pretty cool having a battle wreck account just so you can test stuff and whatnot. Um, yeah, we'll put them on this baby. Those are going to be our Titan Destroyers, or at least our potential, potential Titan Destroyers. Let me scratch my eyebrow because it itches. I got to itch my eyebrow. Ultimate Punisher Tease. And, <laughs> you know what? 
Why not? I think there's a light version, isn't there? An ultimate one of those? Or is there not? Maybe there's not. Let me look again. I thought there was an ultimate regular Punisher, but I guess I'm mistaken. No, there's not. Okay. We'll try those two. Yeah, Dark, what's your ID, buddy? We'll, we'll play like some more games. I'll re-invite you. Create squad. Yeah, let me see what happens if I try and invite his clan ID. Nope, nothing. <laughs> Copy. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do a time drop. We're going to do the next two next two games. We're going to do a beacon rush. So I'm going to put some emojis in the YouTube chat. When you see them, do a 3 to one countdown. And if we hit battle together, we might get into a game. So here come the emojis. Let's go do it to it. Beacon rush, beacon rush, beacon rush. Three, two, one, battle. So Tarek, the current headset is made by Soundpeats. They actually, like I was saying, they sent me this to do a review on on my audio channel. So these actually just showed up today. And I've never really heard of Soundpeats. I don't know much about them, but so far I listened to a little bit of music. I played two or three songs before the stream came on and they seem to sound pretty decent. Like, so far, I like them. It's going to take me a couple days to really, you know, know for sure if I how much I like them. But I'm going to use this as much as I can for the next couple of days. And see what we think about them. Yeah, when, when somebody sends you a set of headphones and you've never heard of the company and you're kind of like, oh man, I hope they're good because I'm going to have to review these. But yeah, they seem pretty decent so far. Now the ones I normally see, like when you see me wearing the thing in my videos, those are some Sony uh, studio monitors made for mixing audio. But yeah, I... From what I can tell so far is I think I'll be able to give these a nice review. So they're not too bad. I'm a person who's really, 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 really picky about sound quality, so... When I review stuff, though, I try and review it by value... Value for the money, you know what I mean? What the crap, dude? But I gotta find out how much these cost and then I'll review them according to the value for the money of the cost. I don't know if these are like 50 bucks or 20 bucks or 80 bucks, but I have no idea how much these cost yet, so. That plays a major part into how I rate stuff when I review it. All right, let's see what, are we gonna beat up a Titan or not? All right, this is what we're wanting to test here, Jamel. Pay attention, Jamel. Be on your best behavior, Jamel. I mean, that's not what I meant to say, but whatever. <laughs> be on the lookout. That's what I meant to say is be on the lookout, pay attention. We're doing it, doing it. We're testing your thing here. Uh, all right, so it doesn't really seem to be doing a whole lot to the Titans once they charge up, does it? Dear Lord, I can't see anybody. All right. All right, so we're beating up that guy, but that doesn't count. That's a squishy Titan. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I need to see if they sent me ultimate ions yet. I don't think those, uh, I don't think I have those, but... For the next battle, I'm gonna see if we can drop those on something. I've got a feeling that the ultimate ions are gonna be beasts. I'm a little scared to see what those are gonna do, honestly. These weapons are still extremely good, I will say this. They weren't doing anything to that one Titan that was fully charged up, but... They're doing great damage to regular robots. Ochi Kochis are still really hard to kill, I will say that. Ochi Kochis are a major pain. Sir! Come back here, I'm trying to shoot you. You too, stop running away. It's lagging or something like, where'd he go? There he is. Sir, how dare you run out of ammo? <laughs> Don't ask. Nah. Sir, stop it. Jeez. That man was a beast. So I don't think they're really going to help with the charged up Titans though. Yeah, if, if they don't have the repair amps charged up, this will shred a Titan. But if they do have it charged up, I don't think it's going to really do much. Look at that guy. He's getting on my nerves. He just keeps doing the same dumb thing over and over. Yeah, it's not doing a whole lot, so... It's definitely not going to be the key to fighting Titans. Ah, little turd burger. Turd burgers. Gosh dang it. Stop teleporting. I gotta tell you what, those little guys do get on my nerves. They're fun little robots, but they are very, very annoying. Like, if you want to annoy people, that's probably the robot you should play, right? They should have named that thing the pest. That would have been a better name for that robot, the Pest. That would have been very fitting, right? Bam, you dead. The Pest is back, guys and gals. Yeah. This is a fun Aether build, though. Aether is actually pretty good once you get those repair amplifiers going. Alright, good game, good game. Brandon says, my Ocho dies easy. Yeah, mine does too, actually. My, mine's not that strong, so... There are some players out there that still have unbelievably strong ones, and it's it's hard to know why. Good game, good game. So Dark had 11.8 million, I had 12, we both had 9 kills. I guess he won because he had more assist and he had more beacons, so... Good game, guys. Alright, let's see if we can find some ultimate ions before we drop into the next game. So we got time for probably one more game. No! Do I have anything with mediums? No, let me bring out... Oh, 
Are the ions in here? That's the question. No, I don't think they've sent them yet. Let me look through one last time. It doesn't look like it, guys. We'll try a Pathfinder with the special bullets. The ultimate bullets. Oh, I got more gold. I think I have the VIP thing going, actually. That's probably why. That was a good match, Dark. That was really good. So, yeah, I did test the unequip button. It does take your pilot off the, the thing, so... I'm going to try something weird with this. I don't have any cloaking units. Oh, there they are. Let's try and run three cloaking units. I don't know why. I just want to try this. It's probably not going to be good, but it might be okay. All right, guys, we're going to try and try to time drop into one more game. I'm going to post some emojis in the YouTube chat. We'll do a big and rush. If you want to try and time drop when you see the emojis in the YouTube chat, do a three to one countdown. And if we hit battles together, we might get into a game. So let's go do it to it. Let's go do it to it. Here come the emojis. Then after the game, I'll, I'll chat with you guys for maybe five or ten minutes before we end this thing. So here we go. Three, two, one, battle. Ultimate Ion with a Daredevil Fafner. That might be pretty interesting right there. That might be really interesting. All right, we're going to try and play this thing. Jamel says Troll Finder. Wait, Edward says you can't see me. Edward, what's going on, man? Are you invisible or what? Edward's invisible, guys. We can't see him. Little does he know I can see him. Yeah, I see his comet right there. I'll pretend I don't see it, though. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Somebody got the kill and should have got a stack from my robot. Oh, they're charging in here for some reason. I need to back up. Dark matter is getting in my way. All right, I got what is that? Die already. Ah. He wanted to do the thing. Oh, that was my cloaking unit. That's what that was. I had that little ball floating around me. Look how fast I'm moving all of a sudden. This thing is charged up really good on this game already. Look at that speed. One thing I can't figure out is why so every once in a while you get a game where your speed goes crazy, but most of the time it doesn't. I don't know why, like, I haven't seen mine run this fast at all so far today. This is like the third time I've seen this happen, and I, I just can't figure out why it does it. 
Like, why am I so fast right now? There must be a pilot skill on this one that's different from the one on my account or something. That's the only thing I can think of, and there's got to be a different pilot skill. There's my cloaking unit again. I'm pretty sure I have Roadhog on mine. Janelle says Pathfinder has cool aesthetics. Yeah, I agree. It's a very interesting looking and playing robot. Like, I didn't really like it too much when I first got it, so... After a couple hours of playing, though, I kind of figured out how you're supposed to play it. But it took me a minute to figure it out. So, when I first got it, I think I was just trying to brawl with it. And eventually I realized you can't brawl with this until you've got it stacked up. Once you got some stacks on it, you can brawl with it, but... Whoa! Crap. <laughs> but yeah, once it's stacked, it turns into a beast. Watch what happens when I mark this luchador in two seconds. All right, he's marked. Let's see what, what kind of damage we can do to him now since he's marked. Look at that. We're tearing him up. Look. look. Yes. This thing is awful, man. So, yeah, that was probably like 100 and what? 80% more damage right there. Yeah, when you can get full stacks on this, it's it's nuts. Like right now it's showing that I got six stacks on damage, seven stacks on something, fifteen stacks on something, and three stacks on something. Look, I got all those abilities going. I don't even really know what those little symbols stand for. What's that one on the bottom? Does anybody have any idea what that is? Because Maybe that's the counter suppression? Watch out, Matt. Oh. Yeah, the damage is crazy. The damage is crazy. Dear teammates, get some beacons. I'm over here doing it too in it. Get those beacons, please. Thank you. I do like this robot. Once you really get the hang of it, it's, it's nasty. It's nasty. Ah, yeah, the first sign is the damage bonus. I got that. The second sign, I think that's defense points, right? Oh, that's the speed? Oh, yeah, you're right. That's the speed bonus. Thank you, thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy with these weapons. This may be the absolute best set of weapons you could ever run on this. Third is anti-control from the Avalon. You know, I, I'm, I'm, for some reason, my brain doesn't work well when it comes to remembering little symbols and stuff. Like, I've always had a hard time with that. There's too many of them. There's like 9,000 symbols in the game, and they all mean something different, so... Too many symbols for me. Oh! <laughs> Alright. That was a crazy run on that thing, wasn't it? Honestly, and once you get charged up the full, it's it's really not that hard to have a good run like that on it. All right, good game, good game. 
Fifth is counter suppression. Fourth is defense. Thank you, buddy. Oh, yeah, Jamel, the Titans do get... Uh, you can charge up your team's Titans with the Pathfinder. If they get kills and assists when you hit something, something with that ability, that'll help your team, your team out big time. Like, last night, we were playing in games where we were just wrecking everything in seconds because... All of my teammates' Titans were charged up from it. It was crazy. It was crazy, guys. It was super crazy. Ah, crap, Epic. You're coming right at the end, my man. We're just about to end this thing, actually. We've been going for about two hours now. Now, I don't know if you guys have the time change, but we have a time change here in the United States, so... But uh, we were doing some time drops there. Pathfinder's pretty crazy. But I'm just going to hang around and chat with you guys for a minute before we leave. So if you guys got some game questions or want to say something or want to say, Danny Lightning, you suck. I guess you can go ahead and do that now. <laughs> oh, man. Midnight. What's up, my man? Yeah, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it, buddy. Always awesome to have you here. Even if you don't talk much during the stream, it's always awesome to have you here. So yeah, those uh, those ultimate punishers on the Pathfinder were brutal. That, uh, that's probably the strongest build I've played on it so far. How do you get the Wallet Finder skin? It's, it's currently in the, the, the leaderboards. So, I don't know if you have to have it in order for that leaderboard to show up, but for me, it's in the leaderboards. Alright, so Dark, I mean, if you're, if you're at close range, the ultimate Coronas are way better than the Punishers. But that's the thing about the Coronas. You have to be like 50 meters or closer to get the most out of them. So, the Punishers are much easier for your average person to use, so... I think it depends on the robot you're playing it on, right? If you're on a telling a teleporting robot like a Shinlo or a Scorpion, by far, the Coronas are going to be way better. But on something like the Pathfinder, I think the Punishers would be a better setup, to tell you the truth. Orochi. You know, I tried to play my Orochi recently, Epic. I didn't really have much luck with it. In general. I don't like it. I don't like that robot. It doesn't work well for me. I suck with it. I was never really good with that robot, to tell you the truth. I think I kind of suck with it. It was... Rockzilla, what's up, buddy? Awesome to see you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad you guys liked the stream. Thank you. And those of you who are channel members, thank you so much. I definitely appreciate it. Yeah, Roxilla, seven months. That's a long time. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, my friend. Dark is trying the Corona and Punisher, Punisher T Phantom. Yeah, that sounds interesting. I think you'd be better with all shotguns if possible, but... That would definitely work. Phantom is such a fun little robot. I love that little guy. He's one of my favorite robots to play. I don't play him as much anymore just because it's not as good as some stuff. But man, that Phantom is amazing. So Kron's got unknown shatter and splinters on the Phantom. That sounds pretty good, actually. I still, uh, I still think the electric weapons or the cudgel mace, for some reason, are my favorite setups. Those new weapons that just came out might be really good on there. I'm not sure we'd have to try those, but those might be pretty good. Yeah, there's a later board called Pathfinder Supremacy. I still don't really know what the word supremacy means, but uh, I'm going to have to look that up. 
Because I know in some instances it can be kind of a negative term for certain things. There are some bad people in the world that they call supremacists, so... I want to find out what that word actually means because I don't really know the definition. But yeah, the Pathfinder Supremacy is where you get the paint job. But like I said, I don't know if... I don't know if you have to have the, the robot to get that leaderboard to pop up or not. I'm not really sure. Alright, so Shatter and Bersant Finmere, yeah, that's fine, actually. That's pretty good. What are bags, buddy? Glitch, I'm not really sure what you mean by bags. Midnight, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the donation, buddy. Thank you. I'm trying to give it a heart, but it won't let me for some reason. I think the little, the other little heart's in the way, so... I'll get it in a second when it moves up. Rockzilla says, I wish they would unnerf all the old beta robots. That would be amazing. Oh, it won't let me give it a heart. What the heck? It won't let me heart the comment. That's weird. Usually, usually don donations have a little heart there, but I, I guess not today. Let me make the game chat bigger. Nope, it's not going to let me do it. Oh, well. But yeah, I appreciate that, my friend. Edward, you're welcome. Thanks for coming out. Ultimate Blaze Punisher T Phantom. That would be interesting. I mean, the Ultimate Blazes are really good weapons. They're hard to use. I don't really like the mixed Blazes with anything else because the Blazes, you have to lead ahead so far on moving robots. And if you run a weapon that doesn't lead ahead with them, it's really hard to make all of your weapons hit the target, I think. Later Midnight, thank you so much, man. Blaze is a great weapon, but they're really weird to run with anything other than Blaze. Yeah, I really like Mace. Mace are great weapons, Glitched. I'm not really sure why those weapons are still so good. I'm surprised they're as good as they are. And I don't know why there's not more people running them. Because Mace, Cudgel, and Hammer are still currently excellent. Now, in Champion League, everybody goes for the newest and the latest and the greatest. And I think that's a mistake on some players' parts. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're in the biggest, baddest squads and all you care about is just winning and just dominating, I get it, right? That makes sense, but there's a lot of players you see playing solos and duos and there's just certain weapons you don't see that much of anymore that you probably should because they're still really that good. But the good news is the weapons we that are good that we don't see people running all over the place... Probably won't get nerfed anytime soon, so that that's actually a good thing. What's my verdict on the new game mode in the Pathfinder? Pathfinder is a cool robot. It's definitely going to be a problem when you're running full squads and there's multiples on the battlefield and people are finding out how to use it properly. It's going to become very, very, very dangerous once people really figure out how to use it in a squad gameplay. Now, as far as the new game mode, I mean, it's just a skirmish, right? I don't like it. I didn't care for it. I thought it sucked. Maybe the next game mode, I think every day it's going to rotate if I understand it correctly. So maybe whatever they're having tomorrow will be a little better. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Jamil says, Hammer, Lynx, Kestrel, Rex, Reds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll smash him up, bash him up, and kill him. I wanted to find something else to say to put in between there, but I couldn't think of anything. So, it'll smash him up, bash him up, and kill him. <laughs> Glitch says, uh, some of the old guns like Redeemers are brill. Oh, yeah. Redeemers are amazing. I can't imagine... I can't understand why they've allowed the Redeemers to be such top-notch weapons for so many years. 
I mean, I got. I guess they gotta throw us a bone and give us something good that's old, right? Just like Fenrir is amazing, Invader is still pretty good, but Redeemers are top notch. I mean, they're still one of the best heavy weapons in the game, as long as you don't mind the shorter range on those things. They wreck everybody and they wreck everything. Just you can put the two Redeemers on something and just wreck people. They're so good. Dark, have a great day, buddy. Edward says, I hope picks thinks of better new game modes. Me too. It's a guy. What's up, my man? Welcome back. Welcome back. But oh, you're coming back at the end. Quan. Ah, oh, crap. Quan missed the stream. That's all right, my man. I appreciate you stopping by nonetheless. I definitely appreciate you stopping by. So thank you. If you really want to watch it, you can always rewind it and watch it. Or maybe maybe next time, maybe Saturday, you'll be available for the stream. I don't know. Either way, man, it's awesome to see you as always. Why do you call Etska? I don't know. I don't know how to say your name there, buddy. E D I T S G U Y Etska. I don't know if I'm saying that properly or not. I mean, I don't say anything right, so probably not. That's what it looks like. Is it Edit Sky? I don't know. It's all one word, and yeah, it's, I don't know what that says, actually. I probably, I probably say, like, everybody's name in the entire world wrong. Okay, so it's Edits Guy, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, I'll remember that. Kron says, ha, 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 crying, laughing, smiley face thingy. I'm going into monotone mode now, so. I'm tired. And the stream's ending, so I'm just going to talk like I normally do when I'm not streaming. So I talk a lot like this. Would you guys enjoy the stream if I talked like this the whole time? <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm goofy. All right. <laughs> I do think that's going to wrap the stream up for the day, guys and gals. I appreciate everybody coming out. Thank you guys so much. But we'll be back on Saturday for another stream. But yeah, tomorrow I think I'm going to make a leech video, guys. Yeah. So Tuesdays, I normally do the question and answer. Then... Wednesdays, we do these thingies with the time drops, and then Saturday is just a standard gameplay stream. So, hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys so much. You guys are all super duper amazing, and I do appreciate each and every one of you for coming out. Catch you guys later, and thank you so much. See ya!